Hi everyone, uh, as the title of the video suggests, I'm out at the field today uh, field testing uh, or comparing a couple of uh, speed controllers, 40 amp speed controllers. Um, for those of you who may have followed me for a while, you know that I've used the Turnigy Plush. Uh, it's been my go-to speed controller for, for years. Um, but I, I picked up a Hobbywing Platinum Pro uh, 40 amp from Banggood a while back and uh, did some bench testing already. Uh, lots of Lots of experimentation there to find the right settings, but anyway, uh, there'll be links down below to blog posts that I've written already, as well as a supporting blog post to this video. So I'm going to just do a couple of quick flights here uh, for my own uh, comparison so I can watch the video. Um, so I've got the Turnigy Plush 40 amp in here right now with the factory default settings. I'm running the Racer Star BR2406 2600 kV quad racing motor, uh, 6x4 APC gas prop. This is the motor that I used uh, when I did all the experimentation on the bench. So uh, anyway, let's get her in the air here. So this plane might seem a little faster than some that I've flown lately because it's, it's only got a 25 and a half inch wingspan. It's kind of my winter beater plane. It certainly skips along pretty nicely with this uh, with this nice torquey quad racing motor. So throttle response and everything is uh, you know what I'm what I've become used to with uh, with the Turnigy Plush over the years. Uh, you know no problem. The the back runs uh, six servos. Nice smooth response. So the hobby wing on the bench did uh, did produce some better, uh, slightly better thrust numbers at mid range, 50% and full throttle. Again, I won't bore you with those right now. You can read about those <laughs> in the uh, in the blog posts. Yeah, this is a, it's a pretty nice little motor for this little size and weight of plane. Nice smooth response. So I don't know if I mentioned these are factory default settings, which I found are the best with the uh, Turnigy Plush. Timing's at low, and I didn't change. Uh, you know, I didn't change anything. Although I did experiment with uh, medium and high uh, timing on the bench, just for. Just for science purposes. All right, so I think that's enough. Uh, feel a few sprinkles of rain here, so hopefully we'll get this done before we start getting too wet. Whoa. Okay, folks, so there was the uh, Turnigy Plush 40 amp speed controller. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, Pause the uh, stop the camera now, and I'll be back with you uh, after I swap speed controllers. Hi everyone, uh, back with uh, part two of our uh, test video. So uh, right now I have the uh, Hobby Wing Platinum Pro 40 amp speed controller. Uh, the timing is set to 26.25 degrees, and I've actually changed I changed the uh, pulse the PWM pulse width modulation frequency to eight kilohertz from the factory default of 12. Uh, again, you can read more about that in the uh, blog post below how I uh, arrived at those uh, those settings. So anyway, here we go. I've already done one quick test flight just to make sure it wouldn't uh, catch fire or anything. So here we go. So one thing I do notice uh, right right away is uh, it produces on the bench it produced about 20 grams more thrust than the Turnigy Plush. And I noticed that right away, uh, flying around, you know, half throttle, 60% throttle. I don't know that I'm getting a whole ton more. Um, I think it was less than 15 grams more thrust at full throttle on the bench. So I don't know that I'm getting a whole lot more mid-range. Throttle response is very good. I. I I, I sort of got the feeling when I was bench testing it that uh, the throttle response was a bit quicker than the than the plush, 
but uh, as John Wayne once said, I don't think I'd want to live on the difference. It's not that much, but it's you know very smooth and uh, quick either way. Yeah, I really like this. Uh, really like this motor with this plane. You know, it's a very economical little quad racing motor. Plenty of torque, so great, great acceleration. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, you know, no, no hiccups, no skipping, no, no mucking around there. So. Uh, you know, it's going to take me a lot more flights to uh, to fully evaluate it. Just a you know, a couple of couple of flights is not really uh, indicative of how it would perform long term. And of course, also with a with a wider range of motors, I've run the plush with in you know in different sizes with just about every park jet motor I've ever I've ever used. So. Yeah, I definitely would say I do notice, uh, you know, mid-range, okay, time to land. Uh, mid-range, you know, on the launch there and uh, as well just sort of flying around, I, I do notice, um, you know, some better better mid-range power. It just seems to be uh, faster there at, uh, at mid-range. So, uh, yeah, so there we go, folks. There's a two-part uh, video uh, that was with the Hobby Wing Platinum Pro 40 amp speed controller. Again, uh, lots and lots of links uh, down below, uh, including one that'll support this video, plus uh, you know all the the, the dreary, boring numbers uh, uh, of testing of how I, I got to the settings on this uh, this Hobby Wing because it has one one thing about it, I guess, and that's part of why you pay uh, pay more for it. It does have a, a real uh, you do have the ability to really, really play around and you know fine tune it a lot more than you do the plush, uh, where the plush is uh, you know more, more kind of uh, just plug and play with the factory defaults. Um, one thing I should say t um, is if you are going to play around, one thing I've learned and uh, and you know touch wood thus far it hasn't happened with this, but if you're going to play around with the timing settings on a speed controller, uh, I would suggest maybe putting in it uh, you know it's a speed controller you never used before, for example. Put it in a you know kind of a beater plane like this, because I have had situations with motors where you know it it runs really well on the bench, great power. Uh, get out to the field, you know, you give it a couple of couple of uh, pumps with the throttle, works fine, and then you get flying around for a while. And I've had problems where it's you know the speed controller will skip or uh, just misbehave. So uh, you know, touch wood, I've never lost a plane, but just just a word to the wise: if you do want to play around with it, uh, maybe don't put it to uh, have that speed controller in your favorite or most expensive plane. But uh, anyway, thanks uh, thanks very much for watching folks. Uh, more uh, more uh, information down below. Um, uh, blue skies, which we don't have much of today, but uh, blue skies, calm winds to everyone. And park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care. <laughs>